Hello and welcome. In previous video we learned how to download the file and now we will get the file from the database. Also, in the video about saving the file we saw that we have two main options and the first one is save the file path in the database and then we save the file in the system. The second one is saving the binary of the file in the database. Now we will do the reversed operation. We will get the file path and then we send the file and we will get the binary of the file and we send the file. Okay? To get the file path from the database and get the file from the system, we already have the action method file download from the previous video, right? And we will add the operation of getting the file path from the database and then we get the file from the system with this file path. Then we send the file to the client. Is just that. And we will add the following steps to the file download action method. The first one, create the connection string. We have the database prod web API from saving the file, the video about saving the file. Then we have to create a query and we have the table file location and the columns ID and file path. Then we will execute the query and get the file path from the database. And finally, we will get the file name because we need the file name to add to the headers of download action method response. Here in the Hello World project, we go here to the file downloading controller, we open it and we have here the action method from the download video, okay? And I just copied this action method and make two action methods. The get file one is a copy of the first one and get file two is another copy, okay? The only difference is they receive a ID, okay? And the address is the download one and the ID and download two and the ID, okay? So let's go here and also have here a new region where we we will do the new code, okay? For this case, since we will get the file name, we can remove these and we can make these also empty, okay? And let's go to the first step, connection string. I can copy and paste here instead of doing it again. We must have a data source and this is the name of the server and we must have a initial catalog that is the name of the database. If we go to the management studio and don't forget to ensure that SQL server is running, okay, in the services. If we go here and right click on the server properties, we can see here the name of the server and we can copy and paste, okay, the database is the same thing, right click and properties and we have here the name of the database, we can copy and paste. The connection string is just this, data source, the name of the server, initial catalog, the name of the database and these for security. And the first step is done, creating the connection string. Now let's do the query. Now let's do the query is just doing a var query is equals to select file path from file location where id is equals to add id is just this. We just did this, now let's do the third step, read file path from the database. Now let's execute the query. So we say using var con is equals to new SQL connection, we pass the connection string. Also we need a command, so using var cmd is equals to new SQL command, we pass the query and we pass the connection. Inside we say command parameters add the parameter at id. We say this is a SQL DB type int and we say that the value is equals to the id that we received as a parameter to this action method. Then we need to open the connection, so connection dot open. Since we open the connection we connection close and in the middle we will do the code to read the value var reader is equals to cmd execute and in this case execute reader while reader can read 
file path is equals to reader dot get string at index zero the first column so now we just have the file path the third step is done now let's get the file name from the file path now let's do the last part get the file name from the file path since we already have the file path we can get the file name from it so we say file name is equals to path dot get file name and we pass the file path this guy is very intelligent and can give us the file name from this file path okay and now that we have the file name and the file path the rest is done by getting the file bytes and creating a memory stream and adding the memory stream to the result and then building the headers the response headers and etc okay one final thing to do here is since we can have nothing in the database okay we must do a check here so if string is null or white space file path we have an error okay if we don't have a file we have an error so we say result dot status code is equals to http status code and we can say not found okay else the guy will do the rest of the code okay so we must go here and copy this and paste here and we have our code secured just to review if we don't have a file if no file was found it will give us a not found okay else it will give us the file the last step is done now we can test this new action method now we can test this i already put this running and the download folder is empty we have here the file download demo html i added this link where we will do a call to api slash file downloading slash download one slash one okay this download one file path okay so we go to the site and we click on this and we download something if we go to downloads we have here the file now let's do the get file binary from the database and is very easy again we have the file download action method and we get the binary of the file from the database then we send to the client the file is just that the steps that we need to add to the download action method are exactly the same thing as the previous case we have to create the connection string and we have to create a query but in this case we have to ask the table files and this table has the columns id the file bin that is the binary of the file and the name of the file and the size of the file okay and last we have to read the file bytes and the name from the database so let's do the code now let's go to the second action method get file 2 okay expand these and we go here we have the section new code where we will do the new code okay we erase this file name again and also we will not have this file path because we are getting the file from the database okay and the file bytes since we don't know the size of the file bytes we can say new byte array of size zero okay just that and the connection string is exactly the same thing as the previous case so we go here we go up and we just copy the connection string go to the new method and paste here okay about the query we say var query is equals to select name size and file bin from files where the id is equals to what is in the id this id we need to add as a parameter okay and the code here reading file bytes from database is almost the same thing as the previous case so we go up 
again and we can expand these again and we go here to these and we copy these we go down to the new method and we paste here okay in this case we are doing the query by the id again because we have here the id and now we must select the name the size and the file bin okay so after the connection is open and after we read the result we must go here and say tab file name is equals to reader dot get string at zero why at zero because because in the query we have this at zero so the size will be at one and file bin will be at two okay zero one two so we go again here and we say that var size is equals to reader get int 32 at index 1. Now that we know the size, we can say file bytes is equals to new byte array with size size. Okay, next we just need to read the bytes. So we say reader dot get bytes and we say from index 2 start at 0, put the bytes into the file bytes starting at 0 and with the size size okay this starting the zero is from what is read from the database and d0 is for the array the byte array it starts at zero in byte array and it will start at zero in what it is read from the database okay next the connection is closed right and the last thing that we need to do is check if this is okay so if file bytes dot length is equals to zero if it is empty we say result dot status code is equals to http status code not found else everything that we have here so we must copy this and we go here to the else part and we paste just that okay so if the file was found it will do this okay if it is not found it will return the error not found and we just did the create connection string the query and we just read the file bytes and the name from the database now let's test and we can run these also we go here to the file download demo to see that we have a third link download to database and the address is api slash file downloading slash download to slash one one means the file with id number one okay and in the downloads folder we just have the first file from the first example now we go here to chrome and we call these and we get the download we go again to the folder and we have here the new file this is the end and as always you can download the source code the link is in the description thanks for watching and 